Your Grace, I have the honour to bring you Lady Catelyn Stark, sent as an envoy by her son, Rob, Lord of Winterfell. Lord of Winterfell and King in the North. Lady Catelyn, pleased to see you. May I present my wife, Marjorie of House Tyrell. You are very welcome here, Lady Stark. I'm so sorry for your loss. You were most kind. My lady, I swear to you I will see the Lannisters answer for your husband's murder. When I take King's Landing, I'll bring you Joffrey's head. <laughs> Be enough to know that justice was done, my lord. Your grace. And you should kneel when you approach the king. There's no need for that. Lady Stark is an honored guest. Has your son marched against Tywin Lannister yet? I do not sit on my son's war councils. And if I did, I would not share his strategies with you. If Rob Stark wants a pact with us, he should come himself, not hide behind his mother's skirts. My son is fighting a war. Not playing at one. Don't worry, my lady. Our war is just beginning. Your Grace. They are right. How's your foot? Better, Your Grace. They don't know their own size at all. Good man. I have a hundred thousand men at my command. All the might of the Stormlands and the Reach. And all of them young and bold like your Knight of Flowers. It's a game to you, isn't it? I pity them. Why? Because it won't last. Because they are the nights of summer and winter is coming. Brienne, escort Lady Catelyn to her tent. She's tired from her journey. At once, Your Grace. Shall I return after? That won't be necessary. I would pray a while. Alone. <laughs> 